All right, guys, got an interesting topic for you here today. Um, I've heard this a lot, and this is a big rumor and a big myth that I really want to address, and that is the idea that steroids increase protein requirements. And I hear this a lot, a lot. And people will take my protein research and say, well, that's great for natural guys, but what about guys on steroids? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I am not a steroid expert. I am not. However, I can do math. So I can tell you, <clears throat> I think I can come up with an idea of how much steroids increase protein needs. Now, first off, let's talk about need versus, versus optimal, right? So we want to maximize our muscle mass. And to do that, we need to max out the rate of muscle protein synthesis. Now, if you look at what amount of protein maxes out the rate of muscle protein synthesis, you're looking at about one gram per pound, maybe 1.2, 1.3 grams per pound. Now, it requires a disproportionate, people think about, okay, I need that much protein because that protein is going to build muscle. It's going towards like actual synthesizing muscle tissue. That's false, okay? Um, in fact, you, the, about the max amount of amino acid you can ever deposit in muscle tissue is about 10 grams per day, your entire body. So if the minimum need is 50 grams, then why wouldn't it just be 60 grams overall to max out your muscle mass? Well, the reason being is that in order to stimulate muscle protein synthesis to the extent where you can actually deposit those 10 grams, that maximum rate, you have to eat a disproportionate amount of protein because leucine, the amino acid, stimulates muscle protein synthesis and you've got to get enough leucine to trigger this response. So eating 50 grams a day may not hardly trigger it at all, so you're just at maintenance. Um, 75 grams or 100 grams may trigger it a little bit, and so maybe now you're depositing two or three grams in muscle tissue, um, or one or two grams, or whatever. And you may have to get up to, you know, whatever, like I said, 1.2 grams per pound for you actually maxing out that rate. And keep in mind, this is in completely untrained people, um, and this is the absolute maximum, okay, for natural. So because of that, okay, so we need to, so we'll look at, let's say uh, 1.2 grams. Let's just go really high, right, uh, on the really high side. Let's say it's 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. And we, so that is our, that is our, our high, high level of protein intake to maximize muscle protein synthesis for a natural person, okay? So for 200 pound guy, we're talking about 240 grams of protein a day, okay? What if that guy was on a boatload of steroids, okay? And let's just take, let's just take an absolutely crazy, I think we all can agree that 50 pounds of muscle in a year is probably about the max you're gonna put on, even if you're on enough steroids to kill a rhinoceros, okay? Um, there's a 10 week study where men put on like 13 pounds of lean body mass, but keep in mind lean body mass isn't necessarily muscle, and that those gains will start to taper off as well. That there's also newbie gains with steroids, okay? So let's say somebody puts on 50 pounds of muscle, okay, 50 pounds of muscle. In terms of, the, so 50 pounds is uh, 22,700 grams of muscle, okay? Muscle tissue is one third, uh, is about two thirds water. Okay, it's a lot of actual cell space, it's just water. Okay, so if we account for the fact that out of that 22,700 grams of muscle, the only about 33% of that, one third, is actual fibrous tissue, actual made up of protein, amino acids, that comes to 7,567 grams approximately of actual uh, tissue, okay, of, of actual dry tissue. If you divide that by 365 days in a year, you come out to an extra 20.7 grams of protein a day needed to build that. So, you can take, so for that 200 pound individual who's gonna put on 50 pounds of muscle in a year, all right, a huge amount, I don't know many people that do that on steroids, but still, uh, a huge amount, his protein would go from 240 to about 260. Not exactly doubling it. So, 
and I'll say, well, well, you need more protein because, you know, this and that. And they make it sound like steroids are somehow catabolic because you need more. So you must need more protein because steroids are somehow catabolic. This is nonsense. In fact, in research studies, when they compare natural people who don't, who lift versus people on steroids who don't lift, the people on steroids who don't lift actually gain a little bit more muscle than the people who are natural who do lift. Okay, that's how powerful steroids are. They aren't catabolic, they build muscle. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Now, what, what is a more reasonable uh, number? Uh, again, the maximum deposition of amino acids in muscle tissue is 10 grams per day, so you could add 10 grams per day on top of that, right? So, what like, so what would be the maximum natural? And again, there's no natural limit. There are some people who are genetically blessed who can put on way more than this. I know me personally, even when I was a newbie, I never put on more than 10 pounds in a year of, of, of lean body mass. Um, but if you could deposit 10 grams per day, and then you also take into account the water associated with that, you'd come up to about 20 to 25 pounds of muscle in a year that you could add. And this is for somebody totally new to training, right? So steroids do not mean you need two grams of protein per pound of body weight. They don't mean your protein requirements double. They mean that in order to maximize that rate, there may be a modest increase in protein. And hell, let's just say you want to play it safe and you're worried that maybe you're just some kind of genetic god and respond to steroids unbelievably well and you could put on 100 pounds of muscle in a year. Well, then your protein requirements would go up by 40 grams per day. Okay, so instead of that person eating 240 grams, you'd have a 200 pound person eating 280 grams of protein a day. And assuming their calories were adequate, they would then be able to go to 300 pounds of lean body, of, of muscle, or 300 pounds. <laughs> Again, this is nonsense, that's not gonna happen, but I'm just trying to show you that you don't need that much more protein when you're on steroids. It's simply not true. And the reason I know is because I'm smart enough to do basic math. All right, guys, hopefully that's been helpful and helped uh, kind of dissipate some of this myth about steroids drastically increasing protein requirements. Catch you guys next time.